Yeah. Are you guys competitive? Um, ah. Uh, Honestly, yes, I do. we're both Leo. I'm only here for honesty. Leo's, say? but I try. I try not to. It's fun. I, I run. I'm a runner. Okay. And, um, my brother-in-law runs, and we were running together for Thanksgiving, and and this year we didn't. And I said it's because I didn't want my natural inclination, which is to race. I'm trying to stop being as competitive in other. We're in such a competitive business yeah. that I try and take it out as uh, <laughs> uh, uh, out of as much of my life as I possibly okay. can, because I think. I mean, it's a strange thing that we do. We go and we mm -hmm. wait in a hallway and you see probably 25 women who either look like you or are a ton prettier than you are and younger. And, younger. and, and you, you look at them and, and you get this feeling like, yeah, but I'm going to go in and I'm going to do these same five lines so much better than right. they ever were. Right. You know? and okay. it's, it's, yeah. it's ridiculous. I, so personally, I try and take it out. I'm not saying I'm successful at it, but I try <laughs> to take it out as much as I can. Right, to, sure. To try and keep some balance. Yeah. You know? Well, my new balance are custom made. So they're not, you know, it's like this running. <laughs> I like that. Nice. That's good. Sorry. Yeah. No. I don't know where that went. Perfect. It's, it's good very supportive. I bet people love to have you on set. I'm just saying. They love me more. No. <laughs> 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 My shows do keep getting canceled. <laughs> I'm just Maybe totally it's kidding. because I'm an asshole. Maybe that's it. Crap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, was, maybe they should uh, allow you to hug more than shoot people. Well, I, I mean, although I did see that Bones business, that was very yeah. lovely. I did have to actually, you know, issue an edict. No more dominatrix. I think I'm, I'm all, I'm chock full of dominatrix. Snuggly and nice. I put snuggly and nice on gravity. I'm yeah, a squishy were. on gravity. Yeah. And it's You're like, I was like, I, yeah. do we have a stunt coordinator on the show? And they were like, no. And I was like, the only stunt coordinator we had was for the zero gravity love scene. Yeah. What? Yeah. Mm. And I was like, I've actually made it through an entire 13 episodes without a fight scene. Without, you know, anything. We did some wire work for some of the oh. uh, spacesuit stuff, which I love. I'm like, hang me from the ceiling for 14 hours. I don't care. Woo-hoo. You know, you're just like, <laughs> This is why they do love her on set. Yeah. Because <laughs> a lot of people don't like that stuff. They're like, you want me yeah. to get in the wet and then do what? Yeah. Oh, I love she's it. Like, I love it. And they're like, do you want down? I'm like, no! That's a fine gravity! Yeah. 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 Oh. It's a weird thing, though, because if you did a sitcom for, say, 22, 24 episodes, and you were really funny and really snuggly, and then you went and you tried to read for a cop role, they'd be like, I don't, can she be tough? Oh, yeah. You know, it yeah. doesn't take long. Well, you know, and they think, I'm like, like, just because I kill people on television doesn't mean I, you know. Uh, we had a stunt coordinator for the Zero Gravity Love scene because it was, for weeks, it was getting pushed because they were like, how do we do this? Because we actually can't send them up in the Vomit Comet, which is the plane that they fly the astronauts around or fly people around into um, experience zero G. That wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. um, plus, we didn't have a budget. So we finally end up, Ty Olson and I, who's playing my husband, end up uh, on a Saturday morning, which I appreciated because there weren't like 100 people around to watch us with the two band-aids and the patch on our naughty bits, um, trying to figure out how to look like we're floating. Was it a bedazzled patch? <laughs> yeah, uh, like, no. It was, it was more Great. skin, we're and I think bring it out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, ah, oh, water. Um, I ended up in a, in a green screen room, like a big curved green screen, and on a, uh, basically a giant green turntable. And, huh. um, so we're naked. And um, there's a stunt guy under us doing this with a turntable. And there was a camera on a crane on a hothead and going, spinning around us as we spun. And then they took that image and they just flipped it on its side. And because, um, you know, if you were actually floating, your feet wouldn't be flexed like this. We had to try and do it on our toes. So oh naked, eyes closed, making out and spinning on your toes. So there were a bunch of stunt guys going, please don't let them fall! Because <laughs> they would have got a handful of junk. The only guy with the weirder junk. junk. The only guy with the weirder junk than yours is the guy that's actually yeah, turning spinning. the wheel. That's what I'm thinking. Like, did he wake up one morning and go, I know what I want to do with my life? <laughs> well, he was like, he was just, he was trying to like, he had to keep an eye on us, but he was directly below us. And like, yeah, <laughs> it looked pretty. It looked. It was a yeah. very, very nice zero gravity yeah. love scene. It was. It was out of well, all the ones I've ever, ever seen. seen. I know. Yeah, <laughs> and about this much of it actually made it on camera. For how naked we got, and for how much work it took, of course, by the time it gets the network, it's like, yeah, I like you. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. At fun. least you know we found a long way. At least you're not sleeping in separate beds. 
next to each other. That's true. Only you know? in my real life. Only in your life. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> On storm. <laughs> I'm sleeping alone. <laughs> you said it was okay to wear the white after Labor Day. You lied to me. He pointed and laughed. <laughs> oh. But On Star will never leave you. No. Well, well they will now. Thing. Why? Well, because I... You got a new car? Yeah. Well done. Well, it's a little known fact that actors <sighs> lie. We lie. They're like, you'll be in an audition. They're like, can you fly a helicopter? Sure. And you're thinking in the back of your mind, I can learn that in a weekend, right? <laughs> There's like a class for that. Sure something. Yeah. If I can shoot a hard <laughs> <melody. laughs> Anything to get the job. So, yeah. So See, you I, you call that lying, but really I think it's practicing your trade. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, really anything to make a buck. With a dollop of self-improvement. Yeah. yeah. A dollop. You can, yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, because when you have no credits when you first start out, that you have to show that you have all these skills or all these hobbies or you can do all these dialects. And, you know, when you're like 18, you're thinking, right then, I'll be right over to your house. And you're like, can do an English accent. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if you can mock someone on television, that qualifies. Well, luckily, I was such a good Peter Pan with the Clearwater Players in Florida when I was 14. I don't know if you saw it. I mean, I'm sure you heard about it, but uh, I, I, read I didn't have to try it. I just yeah. wrote that on my resume, and people were like, sure. And yeah. go. Yeah, and go. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, mm. it is. Did you see it? I did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was stunning. I'm like, you. me and your grandma, that's not <laughs> it. That wasn't pretty much it. <laughs> I did a lot of bad But we were really theater. proud of you. Yeah. Oh, it was bad. Oh. There wasn't enough money to fly us, you know, like flying by foy. So I just had to stand on a box outside of a window and sing a song, and I'd appear in the window like I was flying. <laughs> In my little Peter Pan costume. That's amazing. Yeah, I have very Where good friends. Where did they put your hair? I was all, it was all under a very large <laughs> triangular. Okay, this is my head. I got measured by a wig lady. My head is 23 and a half inches around, and she told me it's the biggest head that she's seen since Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> and well, is like, that a compliment? It's for the brain. Yeah, I was it's like, do you, yeah. Say, yeah. do you say thank you? Yeah, so, I do. I was yes. upset the other day talking about this. We all measured, and I have the second largest head on the entire set. It's bigger than Lawrence Fishburne's head. You're kidding me. I'm just not. It's but it big. doesn't look abnormal. It's, it's, <laughs> sorry, I'm just saying, it doesn't look you're like You're just a floating head. Uh, seriously, I mean, it's you know. a big head. If it's I was to head. put money on you having the biggest head, I would lose. No, I don't like to lose. It's, it's so. large. I can't get, like, I, the hat, it, I don't know that it would work. So that, it was a very large green triangular cap when uh, I was Peter Pan. Yeah. Yeah. That, that reminds me, I uh, played Joan of Arc on um, Forever Night. A vampire show. Me and vampires. We go way back. Um, and, like uh, centuries. Yeah. And it was the same producer that did uh, Gravity, James Perriott. And he remembered that I had done this show. And I, you know, I went in for the audition and mostly it's all a blur. And all I could remember was that uh, when they were burning me at the stake, because it happens, um, I had all this hair. And I have hair like Liz's. Um, there's a lot of it. And they had to put a bald paint on me. And they were trying to hide the hair, trying to hide the hair, but the bald paint just kept going up. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, it was something, uh, it kind of looked more like Jane Curtin, you know, in the cone heads. In the cone heads, yeah. And, uh, and they're like, can, can you frame down? Can, can you frame down again? <laughs> Tighten up. Frame down. Can, can you cr crop, crop that head out of there? And meanwhile, you know, you're trying to do burn at the stake acting, but keep your head really still because you can't let your giant friggin' cranium burn at the nothing. stake acting. That's a miser. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I hadn't taken that class yet. I'm burning at the stake. I'm burning at the stake. I'm burning, I'm at, the burning at the stake. <laughs> I'm burning at the stake. I'm burning um, There's like ten people that's under, that are under what you're doing right now. I was just watching it. It's, it's a super a, center, but and I and it's, it's a small, I appreciate it's a small it. demographic. It is a small demographic that gets that. I'm just just FYI. It's a theater, it's a theater geek it's thing. A theater if it were humid outside, we'd actually stick like Velcro. <laughs> if we both let our hair. Go to the its own devices. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's a big you guys stuff. again. It's a leap. That's a Leo trait. Did you? Yeah, yeah. The, big, the main. The yeah, the yeah. main. Yeah, it's a Leo I trait. Know you. Yeah. Are, oh, my really? Leo. Do you straighten your hair? Yes. There's uh, a reason it's short and straight. There's a reason it's short. Yeah. I have enough hair for a small family of Sherpa. Of <laughs> Sherpa. <laughs> It's good that you give back. <laughs> I do what I can. I do what I can. No, really, it's like it has its own area code. And it's so, big. I've seen it. Do you need a passport to get there, like Canada? Yeah. Well, why do you think I live in such a big country? I wonder sometimes. <laughs> I thought it was the maple ice cream, but no. It's a huge landmass. <laughs>
<laughs> Bad decision, <laughs> bears! Uh, <laughs> that was a puppet. It explains all the restraining order. Right, right. Do you, do you have the bad decision blocker on your uh, phone? You Can I? Oh, oh that my god, that's what I need. That's yeah. what I need. I got it. You do? I do. It doesn't work very well, though, I gotta tell you. Does people it work the, better than OnStar? Store. Um, are well, as funny as we are? But the, the, the people at OnStar won't call your ex-boyfriends or girlfriends for you and, you know, rag them out. But mm -hmm. your iPhone will. So you get the bad decision blocker and you put in the people that you don't want to when you're late and tired and emotional and have PMS. Go, <laughs> how, hard, how hard does it fight you? Well, it just removes them from your contact list. Oh, okay. Wait, really? So, so if so really just they call you, the number shows back up in your call list, and lo and behold, <laughs> oh, so you just you can't call them on your like that's sort of a little crazy. It should pop something up that yeah, says confused. you should not call this person. Yeah, it should, Actually, and it should definitely it should be, be a, a series head. of quizzes to see how drunk you are. Oh, yes, that's good. you know, nice. and so if like you pass by five questions, there is then... one for uh, for your laptop that um, will I guess it detects how many adjectives you're using and people who are sending flame letters tend to over extrapolate and it says whoa, whoa whoa slow down and it gives you a bunch of math questions so instead you just type you are making me mad <laughs> you are a jerky so duty mad. mad and you're like still like you like I you am mad <laughs> you know why are you big dummy <laughs> love me p.s i'm mad i so am sad <laughs> it's your fault jerk lady cops. let's yeah. see what lady cops oh yeah lady, lady cops, cops. Lady Cops, let's talk about it because it's amazing. We love Lady Cops. We love and, Lady Cops. And you, just, that's it. They love Lady we Cops. Love Lady so do we. You it's should watch it. it. It's good. It just made us laugh. Well, we liked Three Ways so much, and then Nancy Lee said, um, you know, would you guys like to come and do... I didn't say we like Three Ways so much. I said we like Three Ways so much. I know. I and know. so we, we want to be in it. Bracelet, and so we just thought <laughs> yeah. it would be kind of fun to do some sort of... Uh, we just had we had such an amazing time yeah. in New Orleans, and we're like, this party must never stop. How do we do it again and again and again? Yeah. And so then Lady Cops, how you do it. Now like... we're Mickey and Laura instead of Mickey and Nora. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's, that's, that's very that's thin veil. <laughs> 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 And yeah, yeah, and then we thought it would be kind of fun to lampoon um, some choices that television stations sometimes make, which is to back sure. off homosexual relationships as leads of shows. So we thought it's sort of funny if we never kiss as Mickey and Laura, but it's obvious that nice. we are really madly in love with each other and want to jump on each other every okay. second. And so we never quite kiss, and I'm always brushing her hair out of her eye. And right before we kiss, she always spots the perp. And <laughs> like I'm buying her gifts, going, it's not inappropriate to buy you four and a half inch heels. I know it's your color, but you know, but we're not sleeping together. Sure. No. So we just thought it was a nice yeah, little way that. to have a I mean, I think, on you know, partners uh, on the force. Yes. They yes. often have lunch at Kiki de Montparnasse. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything wrong with that. No, nothing. Not a bit. Not a bit. They have nice coffee there. <laughs> it's delicious. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Champagne in the change rooms. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, Nothing at all. I think, that's I think, it's it's I think partners would stay together longer uh -huh. in a professional capacity. If, they if one of often. them was wearing a harness yeah. underneath their uniform. Totally. Yeah. Sure. I totally agree with you. All right. Yeah. So one well, that may or may not be bedazzled. Uh -huh. That's still out. <laughs> Verdict. Drink, drink. Oh. I'm sorry. Bedazzled. <laughs> Okay, well, we're super looking forward to it on telefilms.com. Uh, we're looking com. forward to doing more of it. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And we're going to be bringing in uh, some, some new characters. Yes. And there'll be some new complications for our girls. Mm -hmm. And some more absurd cases. I, I, I read the Darwin Awards the other day, so th this oh, year, good. so I have oh, some good. ideas. I have some ideas. I, I read one, we're not going to do this anyway, but I read one about an arsonist who set fire to this building, as arsonists do, and he needed a place they to hide as that. it started so to fire. So he hid inside the building? He hid inside this big shot. No, and it he was in the building. He actually he ended up, yeah, he, he ended boiled, up boiled himself. Boiled himself oh, to death. no. Yeah. Wait, you know what? We just did this whole thing on NPR and that you can't actually do that. Boil yourself. I just you read can't this. do it. You can't do it. Can't Were they lying yourself. on this thing? I was looking up bad they crimes are. because I wanted to find funny crimes. We're not using any other, but I wanted to find funny crimes for the script. And so <laughs> there was also this thing about a Wait, guy. If the entire building surrounding him is on fire, couldn't he boil himself? No, no. They literally put. I mean, no, this sounds really dangerous, but they put like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> what? A pig walking in the bar. No, they put a pig, a man, and a dog in a room, and then they <laughs> kept. <in> the bar. 
<laughs> they kept turning up the heat. And then uh, as the heat got hotter, they would see, um, you know, like the pig can't sweat or pants or anything, and the dog can pant, and so it never boiled, but the person never boiled. Okay, but what if he has a fire all around him, he passes out from smoke inhalation, and then boils to death? I'm pretty sure he, I'm pretty sure he would just melt. I don't think you actually boil, I think okay, it melts. what if? <laughs> Did you have an egg white omelet this morning? Oh. Um, oh but all of those those 1950s cannibal movies are just yeah. falling apart for yeah. me right now. You know, the big crock pot and the, That's right. you know. Wow, well, it's a very, this is no Santa moment. <laughs> no Santa moment. Oh. It, is, it is for me, you guys. It is what, for what me. What was the, this year's number one Darwin Award winner? It was a gentleman who was uh, holding up a uh, convenience store, and he didn't like the money that they had handed over, so he held up his gun. He went click, and it didn't work. And he was like, oh, "That's oh, not right." I know right. Where this is going. And he went <gasps> click, oh. <laughs> and it worked. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. wow. I have been in the herd. Yeah. <laughs> Doing us all a favor. We're just thin in the herd. Thank you so much for being on Tell Films. We loved it. It was fun. And we're going to have some more off film. What? Bye, ya. What? 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 Oh, in the corner of my mind. Misty Watercolored Man. What what did you want to ask? <laughs> so the bathtub oh, scene. So the bathtub scene, right? Yes. Oh, uh, yes, the bathtub scene. <laughs> the reality is there is no good comfortable way for two people to be in a one man bathtub. This yes. is a lie. Someone either has the faucet in their back. Oh, oh. coxic. <laughs> Slightly yeah, more, uh, there. That, 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 that looks slightly, slightly more comfortable. For my last name over the years. Oh, oh this is actually you? nice. This is good. Ish. <laughs> this is <a> bath. <laughs> Oh, look, there's some Listerine. Natalie, why don't you get some Listerine? Can you go yeah, buy that you, Listerine? Uh, why don't you give her some Listerine? There, <laughs> that, a pig, oh, it's just that we have dog food. We have the dog hair. We do. That's something. Some we can bring magical. you dog food. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. 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 Are you guys main bangers? <laughs> and this is also a prerequisite before those scenes. Oh, mm. that's right. This is true. The hat's turning out badly. At this I can't believe y'all are in the tub. You know what, though? I still watch it, and it is a cute scene. It is. A, I, I, I saw it. Am I real? Yeah. Really? Aww. 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 Nice. What was... Well, so you've talked about the, like, the, you know, the... Not so great scenes about uh, about it. What were like? What are some like really cool things that, or that you did like about the oh, bathtub? Scene? Every well, oh that scene or the show. That that's just the bathtub scene because oh, you're like we had scene. this and they had that and it was all kind of like the stuff that you didn't know or see. So what um, were the what was the the set was phenomenal. It was. Beautiful. I still think about like if I had a house, I would want to have Doug come make it look exactly like that set. It's yeah. one of the most you know most beautiful, and it was. This sort of quintessential New Orleans night, the rain was drumming down, and it was this amazing, it was a real location, it was a real house oh. uh, on Royal Street in the French Quarter, and You're falling into the tub. You know, we all kind of fell in love with the city that night. Well, plus, in, in all honesty, it was really, it just, it wasn't sexy to shoot it, but it did make us laugh. It was laugh. fun. Oh, yeah. I mean, we laughed yeah. all night long, because it's just, yeah. it, the... The juxtaposition between how we knew it was going to look, what, how it felt shooting yeah. it, was just really very funny. And I have to say, I kind of enjoyed bursting that the bubble that um, guys were like, oh yeah, two chicks in a tub, that must have been hot, huh? And I'm like, well, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. No problem bursting that bubble, but... Um, Are you dudes in my bathtub? Yeah, yeah we like it. Oh, the after, in my bathtub. <laughs> it's, it's a sit-back. They just... No. This, is not, this is not comfortable. Yeah, no. it's <laughs> Thanks, try this thanks for having us. <laughs>